Hey guys, Mr. Wahidul Haq here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be benchmarking the Micron 2200 uh, NVMe M.2 drive SSD. So, this comes in, it's a 512GB. This comes in mainly gaming PCs. Uh, by like Dell, Dell and Acer and stuff like that. So this is my latest gaming PC, as you can see. This comes in that and it's pretty fast already, I can tell already, so what I'm going to do is benchmark it and tell you what speeds it is I've ordered a... I'm going to be upgrading this PC so currently... let me have a look here performance... okay so currently CPU is fine apart from the temperatures we're going to sort that out, I've ordered a thermal paste for that Crisonaut uh, Crisonaut, Grizzly something it's basically the best one apparently it's quite expensive though, 7 quid for 1 gram But yeah, we're going to be doing that, you'll see a video on that soon And uh, my CPU's are max uh, It's not max actually, I've lowered it down But yeah, the base speed is 2.5, it can go up to 4.5 But I run it at 4 That's a stable one at the moment For the temperatures But once it hits, uh, once I do the Thermal paste, repasting I'll try running at 4.5 GHz always see what the temperatures are like because under this it runs about 85 at max when under load so I'm gonna, when I repaste it, it should go lower and then I should be able to push the speeds higher so yeah this is with the undervolt as well I've done a video on that so stay tuned so go check that as well okay memory we've got 8 gigs at the moment but as you can see it's nearly full all the time this is just with one application open when I'm under gaming it gets full basically so there's my one of my uh, problems so I've ordered 32 gigs of RAM which is the crucial one DDR42666 same speed as this but this is a dual their dual RAM cons so they'll run a dual channel, dual channel as well right now it's got two 4 gig 8 gigabyte 4 gigabytes two of them Samsung ones in 2666 speed and the cast timing is 19 same with the crucial one that I'm getting now so this should be a lot better and uh, so the new M.2 that I'm going to get is going to be the Samsung I've already ordered it, Samsung Evo Plus which is the fastest at the moment out uh, well fastest Samsung one out the only one that beats it in general this is the second fastest NVMe hard drive at the moment the, the fastest one is the WD Black I think which has 5200 uh, read speeds this one has a, the Samsung one has a 3300 uh, read and 3100 write or some shit like that, something close to that, which is very high. Okay, so, so I'm got a one terabyte one of that, and then uh, this is 512 gigabytes, this one here, and we're going to do a speed test of that, and uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing I'm getting is, because uh, it has two slot slots, he has a spare M.2 slot and a normal hard drive slot, I'm putting a samsung qvo as well in the 860 so i'll have uh, another one terabyte there so i'll have uh, 2.5 terabytes of total storage so i'm going overkill on this laptop so it lasts a long time because i'm planning to run it for a couple of years because it's my gaming laptop at the moment and uh, my work my working laptop for my youtube and stuff so yeah stay tuned for that and i might even make a game again using unity or what's it called Epic Games one, uh, something for, can't remember the name all the time, Unreal Engine 4, that's it. So, I know I've been waffling on, so we'll go ahead and do the benchmark now. So this is the 2200, blah blah blah, okay. <coughs> As you can see, just go through the information quickly. Okay. Oh, this actually uses a lot of voltage compared to the Samsung one but the read performance is quite good 3000 if he, if he actually reaches that so we'll figure that out now so as you can see nothing's running I'm also going to run this in admin mode just in case not really going to make a difference but yeah okay do an old test let's go <coughs> okay so we're saying 3,000 read. I don't think we'll actually reach that. No, I didn't think so. 
so 2500 about 2600 2900 oh it actually is it's nearly hit 3000 so maybe it's very possible it all depends about the read speeds i mean write speeds but yeah the samsung one will have a beat anyway As you can hear my fans are kicking up so what I'm gonna do with my uh, Samsung one I'm gonna clone this one because this is my main one right now this is the only one I have in right now I'm gonna clone this one and then switch it over to my main drive and let's make this one my extra spare one and use that other one for gaming basically and then this one just will be excess space I guess it's future proofing I guess for now because I don't really need 32 gig of RAM either but it's just there in it why not like the price on it's pretty good at the moment so I thought why not in total I spent 400 pound I think for all three items which was the RAM the extra hard drive and the M.2 hard drive as well the SSD so yeah this should be a beast when this is all over So as you can see that as you go lower down uh, the speeds are getting a lot lower aren't they because of the smaller size of the files <laughs> okay still on the reads also guys if you want to stay tuned to my channel then you'll see the upgrade videos and stuff soon and yeah if you want to see other videos let me know if you like the PC videos let me know because I know I've been doing a lot more car videos and stuff and do the unboxings but let me know and I'll sort some more laptop videos out for you oh 24 MB and the very small files which isn't that bad to be fair let's see what these write speeds would be though I reckon 1700 yeah 1600 pretty much hmm yeah, that's where it lets it down. So the read speeds are decent, but the write speeds are crap. So the Samsung one will have doubled the write speed, basically. So, it's a big upgrade for me when I use it on this PC. This PC boots in, up in about 2 seconds. So I'll do a startup video as well of when it boots up how fast it is. How it is now. Then I'll do another one with the Samsung hard drive as well. So, I think it boots in about... Two to three seconds. I actually don't know. It's quite fast. I'll show you the boot up thing on my schedule. Yeah, the speeds are pretty. Mm. So we'll do another test when the Samsung one comes. And we'll see how fast it is. And the problem with this drive being so small, it gets full very quickly. I've barely got any games on it, and it's full already. And I've had to constantly delete games to get another game. So I can't have GTA 5 on because I can't have Fortnite on and GTA 5 at the same time because they're two big games because I run out of space so it's a good thing I'm getting a new hard drive. <coughs> okay, nearly done. Go on the last one now. <coughs> what I don't understand is as you go into smaller files, so these are more smaller ones, the the right speeds get faster, which is weird. But yeah, that's just how it is. Sequential, unsequential, random. So random is just writing randomly. So yeah, there's those are the speeds. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.